Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to refresh my entryway. The space had been functioning really well for us for years, but I wanted to just spruce it up just a little bit and make it even more functional. This is where my spare keys are, Pokemon Go Plus, and the glasses, and uh, there's the dog wipes there as well. I just wanted to make it look a little nicer. And the other thing that was bothering me was that Clover's collar, that's the one on the right, the hook that it was hanging on actually moved when you tried to take it off the hook, and it was super, super annoying. This little furniture that we have in our entryway is the five bin tower from the container store. I will link it down below. It is made of metal and it holds all of our entryway stuff. Anyway, I wanted to measure the space before I went shopping to make sure I didn't get anything that did not fit. I went to Target and I had a lot of fun. The first thing I found was this awesome ceramic tray by the Hearth and Home collection. It says, you were made for this, which is an awesome inspirational message that I will read on the way out, which will make me feel really good. The second thing I found was this awesome set of a trio of mirrors and they're just kind of mirrors slash decorations i wanted to hang them and i got these command hooks to hang them with since i didn't feel like drilling into the wall I wasn't sure in which configuration I wanted to hang these guys, so I did a little bit of experimenting to see what I liked the best. I was thinking about doing a little triangle position, and then I got the idea that I would do them in a diagonal position, and I thought that that was a really good idea. Command hooks act like nails if you don't want to drill into a wall or if you live in a rental. So they're a great solution if you are not really handy or you just can't make holes in the wall like if you live in a dorm or something like that. And these work great. It's important when hanging things on command hooks to let them set for an hour or so before you actually put anything on the hook so that they have a chance to fully bond to the wall. I wanted to go in my trusty utility drawer and grab my shelving box because I had some plans for that tray. I didn't want that tray to really slide around on top of the five bin tower, so I went in my box and I grabbed some furniture bumpers. These are amazing and stop things from sliding around. So I went to town and adhered them to the bottom of this tray. was all done I wanted to just go ahead and place things on the tray and just see where they landed. The next order of business was to replace Clover's old collar hook that the his collar was hanging on. And as you can see, it was super close to the keys as well. So the next hook I wanted to put on, I wanted to put on a little closer to the other one. So it was out of the way. When you're taking off command hooks off the wall, be very careful and work very slowly. Pull down the tab directly downward slowly so you do not damage the wall. If you do it slowly enough, it'll come right off. Just a little bit of patience is what you need. Of course, the wall where the collar was hanging was super, super dirty and all scratched up. So I took my trusty friend baking soda and went to town. All of the scuff marks came right off. A 
Of course, I found other scuff marks on the wall as well, a little lower, so I went to town cleaning that up too. And I wanted to clean up the top of the 5-bin tower since it had some dust on it for sure. The next thing I wanted to do was find a replacement hook, so I have a box full of command hooks and things like that. And I found an extra silver one that matched the other one, so I thought that one was going to be perfect. But I wanted to make sure it was going to sit on there and be easy to get on and off, and looked pretty good to me. So I went ahead and hung it up. Now again, I wanted to make sure that I hung it close to the leash and farther away from my keys so there was less interference. And I just wanted to hold it there for a little bit. Again, with command hooks, you want to make sure that you have them hanging on the wall for at least an hour before you start to hang anything from them. I did decide that it wasn't a terrible thing if the doggy wipes went in the doggy drawer. And here's how we had it before. I managed to grab the stuff and make the tiniest little changes to this area. And now we have the after with the cute little mirrors, the new command hooks that are away from the keys, thank goodness, and the new tray where everything fits perfectly inside the tray. There's stuff not stuffed in there like before and a little inspirational message to boot. you guys enjoyed this spring entryway refresh video I felt really good about it if you guys like this video give it a like I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching